So right behind me was what I thought was just a simple donation center. And as soon as I walked in, I found that it was a completely different operation. This is a civil society crisis center. And we have 20 different departments operating here in the building. Far bigger, far more complex, multiple story operation. It's like a government by the people for the people, but really. They have an entire place they call their store built out with clothing and things for children and books. And People are bringing nice stuff, stuff with clothes tags still on it, brand new things. It's all being organized by volunteers who are coming and just want to help. There was a food pantry built out and a pharmacy built out. 14,000 different packages were sent from this storage. We have here everything from diapers to power banks. All the time we get equipment for soldiers. It's not a hardcore military equipment. We don't have M16 rifles in here. We send it from here, from Jerusalem, with love to the front. The top floor of the operation is their command center. These are multiple little units, all responsible for different ends of their operation. The department in charge of hosting. This amazing team have managed to place thousands of people in hospitality solutions. This is the department for emotional support and educational support. There are clinical social workers, social workers, psychologists, and education people. This is an entirely volunteer-driven operation that is just immense in scale. They're offering translation services. In it's English, uh, Russian, Amharic, uh, French, and Spanish. We have a department for transportation. We have drivers volunteering all across the country. Four hours after the initial Hamas attack, this whole complex was already in operation. Now they're running a fully operational center with, they think they said somewhere between three and 500 volunteers on a rotating basis at all times. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this in my life that the amount of people just want to keep doing and doing and doing and doing. It's heartwarming. <laughs> I mean, I know that my brothers and sisters down south would have been there for me if Jerusalem had a major event. And now it's our turn to be there for them. We are one country, we are strong, we are together, and we will win.